Do you get tired of not being able to see over edges without fear of falling off? Tired of walking along casually and accidentally tumbling to your death? Introducing the Shift Key. That's right, with the revolutionary Shift Key, you can now safely approach the edge of any block in Minecraft without falling off the edge. Playing Minecraft has never been safer. This revolutionary technology causes your player to crouch, making it possible to walk more slowly and safely in your world. Perform dangerous tasks without worry. Use it as a prank to creep up on your friends. But that's not all. There are hundreds of other uses for the shift key, including crouching, bridging, building, exploring, reaching, looking, and more. Using the shift key is ideal for reaching into those hard to reach places Simply hold the shift key while moving over the edge of a block and your player will stay on that block without falling. Guaranteed! In my job I'm climbing all over the place placing blocks, but ever since I started using the shift key, it changed my life. But that's not all. Order now and get this bonus twerking mode and impress all the kids at the disco. But wait, there's still more! If you order in the next 15 minutes, we'll throw in the same functionality for both shift keys on your keyboard. That's right, twice the value, free! Here's how to order. You know, when the sun is behind the clouds, it should be darker. That would be amazing. But unfortunately, we don't get amazing lighting physics like that in Minecraft. And look at us here in our world, just hanging out. It's been a little while since I was able to make an episode. You might have noticed a gap if you've been following the series in real time. And that's just because the world has been a crazy place over the last few weeks, hasn't it, Cal? Yeah, there's a bit of a pandemic going on. And on top of all of that, my work in my real job has been ridiculously busy of late, so I really haven't had the time or the energy to put into recording. So I'm glad to be back, glad to be putting some energy back into this series, and I'm happy to upgrade this version of Minecraft to the next version, which is going to be 1.1.0, the Secret Friday update number nine. So we should be able to explore some... You're all so loud, why are you loud? Let's go over here. We should be able to explore some new content, and I'm looking forward to that. So, let me get busy, get upgrading, and I'll join you back here in a moment. Oh no! Our amazing wall of paintings has just completely disappeared. Oh, that's so disappointing. One of the things I was looking forward to in this game was when bugs would be introduced, or specific mechanics that change due to code changes, that allow us to do things that you can't do in future versions. And my hope was that those things would remain in the world and kind of just be there. But unfortunately, it looks like between world upgrades here, the paintings have all just disappeared. That's so sad. Ah, oh, and there's also one thing that I forgot to do, which is a rule of mine. Every time that I upgrade between versions, even very minor ones, I always do a world backup just in case something goes wrong. So now I can't even go back and gasp in the glory of the paintings because I forgot to do a world backup. I guess it's because I haven't recorded in a few weeks and I'm a bit off my system, so... Oh well, the paintings are removed, but they will live on in the episode where we did that. So that is fantastic, but oh well. <laughs> so in this version, 1.1.0, we've got a few changes. One is to do with navigation, and I'm just checking to see if I have any iron, because we should be able to make a compass, and I'm really looking forward to having a compass, because... If I get lost, I, I really, really get lost. Although it's not too difficult to tell which way north and south, east and west is due to the sun and the moon, but it is difficult to, to tell where spawn is. And the compass should point us back to spawn. So if I just go through all of my chests here, do I have any iron? Ah, oh, don't tell me I need to go. Oh, I'm going to have to go caving again. All right, I'll be off and then I'll rejoin you in a while. Ah, oh, I, I really hate doing chores. I'm back from a mining expedition and I've got 56 iron, one gold, 
and a couple of stacks of redstone and nine diamonds. So that's pretty good. Oh, I also got six extra iron, which I smelted to make a bucket. So yeah, not a bad mining expedition. I use a lot of coal when I'm out mining though, because I'm constantly making torches. So that's a bit of an issue. But luckily in this version, it turns out that you can get a bucket. Actually, we have loads of buckets somewhere in here. There we go. We've got tons of buckets. You can use a bucket of lava to smelt a hundred items. I don't even have a hundred items to smelt in one session. I mean, it took me 20 minutes to go out and get 56 iron just now. And look, my armor took a beating and everything. So uh, I don't know. I'd like to try that out. Maybe we'll smelt up some cobblestone. In the meantime, I think we need some of this. Luckily, I don't have to go all the way outside to get it. I can just pop into my indoor farm and get stuck in the water. <laughs> and here we should be able to make a compass. Now, um, so we need to make some paper. Whoops, I, I did the slidey thing there. Oh no, it's going to be four. It's going to be four paper and one ingot, isn't it? It's going to be. Oh, we don't, we don't have enough. Ah, okay, let's just go outside. Maybe that indoor sugarcane garden is just good if I want to scribble down a note on a piece of paper or something like that, but it really isn't any good for, uh, you know, everyday use. So let's make a ton of paper here. That That's enough. Okay, so we need a piece of this and then a piece of paper around the outside. Is that a compass? Hmm. I thought that was a compass. Do you know how long it's been since I've made a compass? Is a compass... Redstone and a... Oh, I'm gonna have to look up the recipe, aren't I? Oh, you know all those times when you feel like a complete idiot on camera? <laughs> yeah. So a compass is a piece of redstone and some iron ingots surrounding it like that. Ha ha! Compass! Does it work? It works and, and it looks to me like it's pointing to spawn. I mean, spawn is is directly that way. If I were to walk that way and then swim for a little bit, I would definitely reach spawn. So that is good to know. I think we can keep this in our inventory and use it whenever we need to. In fact, you don't even need to carry it because you can just pop it into your inventory like that and it will always point in the right direction, even inside the inventory slots. So what a, a handy little thing. I like to keep all my gadgets and doodads on the right hand side here. So that's why I just moved it across to that side. It was a natural instinct. So let's leave that there and carry that around with us so that we know which way to get back to at least spawn. Because if we get completely lost in the world, getting back to spawn isn't the end of the world. Actually, it's the start of the world. Mind blown. But you know what I mean. If we get back to spawn, we can get back to our house, no problem. Ah, so I've lost my skin again. This happens a lot. Hello, I'm Steve. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. I've got more things to explore. Take a look at that. That's something you don't see every day. It's a mob cage spawner thing, but it hasn't got a spinning mob model inside. And the changelog note said that it removed the 3D mob model from inside of the mob spawner. I don't know why, but yeah. So now it's just a flaming box, <laughs> a flaming cage. I wanna check and make sure that it's still functioning as we expected it would. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Why, why was he so angry? All I did was free him. Oh, <laughs> didn't expect to get so beaten up. Um, yeah, so that's something, piece of Minecraft trivia there, I suppose, but there's not really much we can do or see with this any further than what we've seen. So let's head back to the base. Back to the base so that we can prepare for another upgrade. That's right, you're getting two upgrades in one episode, you lucky, lucky people. We're going to move up from 1.1.0 to 1.1.2 because unfortunately 1.1.1 is missing, but I'll discuss that when we get there. Let's upgrade. But before we do, we're just going to line up our view with this version because the next version makes some changes to paintings, in fact this one that we discussed a couple of episodes ago. So let's do the upgrade and see what it looks like. Look at that amazingness. I know you all come here for the fascinating trivia that is Minecraft. That picture is now quite different to what it was in the version before. And there are some new paintings too, and boy oh boy, do we have a lot of things to discuss in, I don't know, the next episode or two. But let's talk about biomes. 
Biomes are such a large part of Minecraft, but so far we've only had access to this one biome. This big vast area of green grass, oak trees and mountains. We've already seen the winter world type that you can generate, but if you end up with one of those, the entire world is snow and ice, just as this one is entirely oak trees and green grass. We know more biomes are coming, and in version 1.1.1, Notch was beginning to work on the biome code, but running into problems. Let's take a look at what his blog said when version 1.1.1 was released. The big feature was supposed to be biomes, again. And again, I had to abort and roll back the code to get a release out, again. I must stop trying to do it in a single sitting. Now I've spent almost two full days on it. I won't work on it again until I can dedicate an entire week towards it. The main problem is that the transition between different biomes looks horrible. Either it's a chaotic wasteland of random blocks, or a sharp border of sudden ice. Actually generating the biomes themselves is interesting, and I can reuse a lot of the ideas from InDev with the different level types. And then he goes on to say, The Hell Biome will be used for an alternate fast travel dimension. Have you read Wheel of Time? That. So that's a really quite an interesting twist, which I think we knew was coming, it's the nether, right? But the fact is that Notch has had significant trouble trying to get the biome code done, but I think it would be rather interesting to have access to that version where the code didn't really work so well and you could see the jagged edges between the different biomes. But unfortunately, it's not available, it doesn't exist, so we just have to wait and see what's going to change with biomes in versions to come. For now, let's go and explore some of the other features of this version. The game now includes fishing rods. Yeah, fishing rods. The simplest things get added to Minecraft and they become so exciting for us. Uh, we need, okay, some string and I presume we're going to need some sticks. I need to sort out my organization here. And I assume that the recipe for a fishing rod is just like it is in modern times. Oh, fishing rod. So this is, this is cool. Oh, it looks... Is it backwards in the inventory? <laughs> I'm carrying my fishing rod backwards. I suppose this makes sense though, because if you were carrying your fishing rod, you'd want the hook in the back so that when you cast it, it flies over the top, uh, I suppose. But the fishing rod has no use at the moment. If I go over to the water and throw the, or cast, I should say, the fishing rod into the water, nothing happens. And one of the other more fascinating things about the fishing rod in this version is that you can stack it up to 64, which is something that you cannot do in future versions of Minecraft, or at least for I don't know how long you'll be able to do that. So what I'm keen to do is to craft up 64 fishing rods, put them in a stack, and then leave them in a chest forever, so that when we get up to version 1.16 of Minecraft or whatever, we can come back and look at that chest and go, oh wow, do you remember the olden days when you used to be able to stack fishing rods? And it will be amazing. Finally, though, we're seeing the fruits of our labor on this spider farm. I just had a chest over there with several stacks of string and I didn't even have to work for it. So let's pop over here and make ourselves a full stack because why not of fishing rods, something I've never done in the game before and I'm likely never to do again. Oh, I'm going to have to click this 64 times now, aren't I? Can I can I press Q on it? No, I can't even do that. So I'm just going to have to drop them all on the floor. 64 times and oh, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, well, that's 64 fishing rods crafted and thrown on the floor. Oh, well, at least it worked. 64 fishing rods. I'm going to go and put these in the upstairs chests and we're going to keep them forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. You know, sometimes just the nerdiest things in this game are enough to keep you entertained. I'm glad that I did that because I'll never be able to do that in my life again. So now we've got 64 fishing rods stored up in here in our goodies chest and I suppose that's where it will always stay. Bye bye fishing rods. Let's move on to something a little more fun. I am excited because Minecraft has just added one of the pieces of functionality that I've been waiting for for ages. It is finally the ability, 
I don't seem to have any pants. Well, it's the ability to shift. I can now finally shift and crouch in Minecraft. And this is going to come in so useful because when you're building, you need to be able to stand on the very edge of the ledges. You need to be able to bridge across from place to place without falling to your death. And I've been managing to, uh, to work around that, I suppose. And now I'm going to be able to bridge and crouch and do all of those normal Minecrafty things like everybody else. And it's starting to feel good again. What was that? That sounded like all of the grass blocks that I've been walking on all coming out at the end of my crouch. Let's try that again. Ready? Oh yeah, <laughs> that must be a bit of a crouching bug. Let's try, okay, let's try on the gravel because the gravel makes a funny noise, ready? Well, you're just gonna have to bear with me while we walk slowly along the gravel, but <laughs> I wanna do this on some more things. Cobble, are you ready? <laughs> Planks. Wool! Alright, that's enough of that. I came out to enjoy the sunrise because Minecraft now has smoother day and night transitions. And it does look cleaner to me because if you remember the sunrise and sunsets previously, they were really harsh and there would be these exaggerated lighting changes. And you can still see that. You can still see the light ramping up as the sun goes up in the sky, but it is definitely softer. And I think it does look better. I will just be grateful when it looks even better than it does right now. But that's not too bad, I suppose. I guess it's manageable. Manageable enough for us, but not for that skeleton down there who seems to be burning up in the morning sun which is always my favorite thing to see. Hey! Nothing like a dirt wall to try a few new paintings on, but this version has added a few paintings which we've not seen before. We've seen all of those before. Do you know what that one is, by the way? No, do you give up? It's a kebab. Now do you see it? I know. <laughs> uh, come back here. Yeah, so a few new paintings were added. Uh, I think that one might be one of them because I've not really seen that one before. Although it is confusing in my brain. Oh, the Donkey Kong. Ah, oh, that's definitely new. It is confusing in my brain because I've seen a lot of these paintings in um, modern day Minecraft as well. So it gets a bit confusing in my head. Here's the other new one, the old creeper face. And this is a modification of that ocean beach uh, painting from before. We've seen uh, that one. There's Creeper again. Let's see if we can find another new one. No, 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 no. There must be one more. How many were added? I should have checked my notes. Oh, they've changed this one and the spider's a bit bigger. That I do know. And uh, that one was in there before, wasn't it? Hmm. Well, I spent all evening up here placing paintings on the dirt to try and get all of the new paintings and variations or changes that were made to existing paintings in this version of the game. And we've done it. Let's come over here to the first beautiful piece of artwork. This one is called Pig Scene. And I guess it is a pig scene because this lady is painting a lovely portrait of a pig. This one is aptly named Skeleton. Did you hear that? <laughs> uh, this one is aptly named Skeleton. A and this one is changed from the last version. The spider has increased in size. I think this looks a little bit better now. Chishu cows are loud. This one is of course Donkey Kong and it's based on the game Donkey Kong, which everybody knows and loves. And up here, this one is called Graham, and this is the main protagonist from the King's Quest Sierra games series. Game series. And this one is the Creeper one, which uh, this is called Creebet. I just had to check my notes because it's such a weird name. I don't know why it's called Creebet, but it is the Creeper face, and uh, it's a modification of this painting down here, 
which was also changed in this version of the game which we saw before. So that's it. This is not very much of an art gallery. Maybe we should have a side project to build an art gallery for all of these paintings. And, you know, there I am committing to things. Well done. <laughs> committing to things to you, the public, that I now have to fulfill. Ah, but that is the end of today's episode. If you enjoyed the uh, infomercial at the beginning of this episode, then please let me know in the comments because I had a lot of fun both researching that and putting it together because, of course, the infomercial format is amazing. And if you enjoyed the episode, please feel free to like, subscribe, and leave a comment, all of those youtube -y things. And please let one of your friends know about this series if you think that they'll get a kick out of it too. But until next time, this has been Bugman CX. You've been watching Minecraft The Journey. Bye bye. <laughs>